Hello, beautiful souls. This is Ona Christie. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. And today I'm inspired by my friend Ashley from uh, her channel is Adventures Across. And she did a video that was just a sketchbook tour of her sketchbook. And uh, so I thought that was really fun. So I thought I'd do that too, just because there's been a couple things that my guides have been kind of guiding me to do lately. One is to study law which is including the universal spiritual laws as well as common law. And then the other thing is to embody joy. And with the sketching, it's like lately, <laughs> I've been really drawn to using these watercolor crayons. And so much so it's been really, really freeing and fun because it's really just kind of playing. It's like going back to being a, a child. And it's been so much fun that I've been, I actually went and bought this humongous set of crayons. There's like 84 of them in here. <laughs> and so I'm gonna share some things that I've been doing with that in the sketchbook, as well as uh, some regular just sketches. All right, so let's go on, um, just starting with this one. It's, I've got two kinds of sketchbooks. One is basically a journal, but I always use a sketchbook as a journal because often I do have drawings that come in here. Um, so coming through this first and then I'll share my actual sketchbook sketchbooks. So just a few, mostly this is words, but I hear the unicorn that came in a few weeks back. Um, just, you know, sometimes look at the, the spirit animals, the unicorn. Um, sometimes it's symbols. So this one, I believe there's a few of them that came in that were actually just when I do a session with people, they can choose to have me do a drawing with it. And sometimes it comes through as symbols for them. Um, there's an eagle. I think I said, this actually made it into a video recently, but this is what it looks like in the sketchbook. Um, Cause I was asking about the message of eagle spirit. I was feeling eagle around me a lot. And um, this, the first thing it gave me was this big image. And then it gave me a bunch of um, explanation of that. So the drawings are actually a form of inquiry where you can actually connect with your spirit guides and um, use that in both journaling and in images, sketching. There's a dragonfly, dragonfly energy coming in. And, oh, here's one. This day was actually a lot of images here. Um, Kitty Cat came in and then the spirit guide. So sometimes the spirit guides will come in. I don't even know, like he didn't give me a name, but he just really feels like he's connected with like the elven realm um, or fairy. He's got a fairy star on his forehead. And I don't even remember. I think he just kind of came in. Sometimes they have, you know, very, very elaborate messages or very simple messages. But he just, I think, just came in as a presence. I, you know, he's not one that I've worked with a lot. It's just like, sometimes they'll just like appear. And it, it, it's almost like this, we're with you <laughs> kind of thing. Um, although I, I'm sure I could go in and inquire about him. And he probably does have a deeper message. And I often will do that. I don't think I did with him because I was really tired. Um, all right, so this one came in, oh, just at the end of last month, um, Raven. I was feeling a lot of Raven energy. And then there's this little image of a person meditating with a tor toroidal energy around it. So I was talking about October energies. Um, right, so let's move into this sketchbook here. This I think was from a few years ago. I had started uh, just a dragon. Um, he's almost like in this infinity shape. It's kind of repeating itself in a few places. Um, more symbols. This I think was a couple symbols that came through for somebody I was working with. Um, there's another one. There's a lot of heart energy. Um, there's that Ankh symbol, um, we're gonna see that coming forward. This, I think, I can show it to you. Very much like this Falcon Isis kind of energy coming through. And I didn't even notice that because I've been working with the Ankh a lot. You're gonna see that in a bit, but this came through, it was a lot earlier in the year. So I just realized that another infinity sign. Um, 
thing in here is where like these watercolor crayons are starting to come in. So from here on, it's going to be really, really colorful and um, just playing, playing with the color and just letting myself be a child again. And it's been so freeing because <laughs> it's like with the crayons, it's just crayons. So I don't feel like I have to create any kind of piece of art or anything. It's just playing with the color, playing with the vibrations. And those are the first things that came in was just a lot of color and a lot of vibration. And here's this dude that came in. He's, he reminds me of a chicken spirit, <laughs> actually half chickens. So it kind of was like, okay, you peek him in. And uh, it was like a cosmic chicken. I like this one a lot. Another infinity sign and it's sacred abundance and just a lot of energy here wanting to express itself. Uh, this one too, just a lot of vibrational energy. And sometimes this one I think was a lot about polarity and it feels like kind of the four directions idea as well. And uh, the idea of being able to transmute things through your energy. This was another session drawing. It feels like Mother Mary there to me. This one, the dude coming in with a, I think just gratitude, but the first thing I got here was this image of like the hands connecting with a star. So this is almost like this star seed connection kind of painting drawing. And okay, here come the onks. There's a whole series of these things. So this is the first one and just radiance. I love the Ankh, I'm starting to really delve into this, this symbol of the Ankh. Here's the second one I came in. And it feels like there's a lot of Archangel Raphael energy in this one. Um, the Ankh is this ancient symbol of life and connected with the goddess Isis, I think a lot. Um, you can kind of, it's sometimes seen as a key and I'm starting to see this a lot as the, the sacred womb or a portal opening in the dog. I know this is a silly one. <laughs> so this, I was starting to try to illustrate something that didn't really, didn't really call it much. I like this one. There's another Ankh. This one, it feels like Phoenix energy. Um, and there was something beautiful that came through in the inquiry because a lot of times these things uh, will start with a sketch and then there might be energy in it that it feels like it wants to say something so then I'll go into my journal and do some channeled writing around it um, so this one is like this renewal and in the flame of dissolution lies the seed of new life so and then the next one, this one's more about the void and stillness. And it struck me that, I don't know, this might be an Oracle card deck, another deck in the works. So let me know if you have something that you'd be interested in. An Ankh deck. Um, here's another one. This speaks to me of victory. There's a lot of symbolism here that I have yet to delve into. And okay, this one was from the first session of the class that I'm doing now on the 12 spiritual laws and it's we're just all going in and actually um, working with the class to tune in to the energy of each law and see what comes out in terms of image and words and this one actually I saw it as a teaching painting because I was asking for insight into how to better understand the law of divine oneness and especially as it pertains to my some of the things that are going on in my life and it, it really, um, it seems so chaotic, but when I went in and did a lot of inquiry, I was given reams of information to help me to understand what was going on with my own <laughs> self. And um, it really led to a lot of healing. And so that's one thing that can happen if you, if you choose to do this yourself with the, with the drawing. It's not only just a joyful activity <laughs> um, in and of itself, but it can be a real uh, path for healing. Uh, this one I haven't finished yet, but another Ankh. And uh, the title is one is Remembrance. And then, oh, okay, the one here, the other one, one of the 
images in here reminded me of this elephant. And I had just seen a video on Ganesh kind of explaining some of the Ganesha energy. And so that led to this one, which is the Lord Ganesh. And uh, he's got this snake around his belly that represents awareness and the belly itself is like acceptance. So um, this was, to me, it was really a healing painting. And then he's got all these eight little spheres here which I didn't even know what they were, but I found out when I was researching Lord Ganesh and the number eight that he had eight incarnations. And so I think that's a, probably connected with that. He was said to have overcome eight demons, but this feels to me like more eight blessings or eight portals to open or eight, um, I don't know, just eight, it feels like more like eight blisses. <laughs> given so I'm feeling like I need to work with this painting a little bit more and maybe unpack each of these eight little packages of bliss and see what that is he is holding these sweets in his hand which is a reminder to enjoy life and I think that's close to all I've got another sketchbook starting here with a couple more I guess there's a couple more here is another one this one's sort of enigmatic to me I haven't yet gone in to find out the meaning <laughs> um so I would love to hear your insights, any meaning that you see in this one. Um, it's uh, got this Ankh symbol again with the leaves were the first things to come in around it and with the eye. And then um, once I decided to get the water in there, because these, these crayons just actually really dissolve in water and they turn into watercolor, which is so much fun uh, because the drawing itself is very linear and, and then you can really get that fluidity in there, which is, 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 it is so much fun. Um, but the whole thing changed when I put the water on and it feels like there's a lot to do with water and water energy in here, but I would love to hear your feedback and your insights into anything that you see in that painting. And then this one was kind of funny because it started out as a, just a, a triangle, a, I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not even sure, I think it's this direction, but it might actually be that direction. Um, so I'm still kind of working with this one too, but it started out with just a, a kind of like a pyramid. Um, and again, it was a drawing, but as soon as I added the water, everything got fluid and changed a lot. And then, um, some of this stuff, some of it was done with the left hand with my non-dominant hand, because there's uh, one student in our class that does a lot of work with her non-dominant hand and she gets a lot of insights that way. So I thought I'd give that a try. Um, so there's the yin yang symbol coming up in here and it almost looks like all these different suns maybe showing up. Um, so still trying to figure, not trying to figure, but asking for, insight into what that one is saying. And then this one came up out of class two, which was where this week we're doing, delving into the law of correspondence as above, so below. And this is the image that it gave me that I'll be working with and doing some written inquiry on this too. But so far the inquiry came in, it was like all about the heart. And when you're in your heart, your heart vibration expands out and it's this as above, so below, but it's like as within, so without. So when you're in your heart, it really, that vibration gets picked up by your whole environment around you. So that's the drawing there. Kind of hard to see in this light. But so it's really heart and there's a lot of kind of gold and bronze color. I think I just got one more. This is one from last night. It was just feathers. because I have all these feathers on my, on my desk. So I had these three feathers and I just decided to draw them. And like, I haven't done that in a while, just drawn something from life, which I used to do a lot, a lot of. Um, and anymore, mostly I'm doing it just spirit driven, but it, it was just kind of fun to do something from life. And what I found was after I did that, it gave me a whole lot of more information about this law of correspondence, which I may, may share in a future video, we'll see. Um, but it just opened up, even though it wasn't intended to be a spirit drawing at all, it, it just the act of drawing sort of like opened up this little portal <laughs> for me to understand more or for the guides to be able to reach me um, in the right frequencies to, to receive 
whatever that information that they wanted to give me. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I also encourage you if you if you too find joy in creating things, whether it's art, whether it's music, uh, allow yourself to do it because <laughs> that's one thing that I'm being told really, really strongly now is that it's so important for us to allow ourselves to, you know, to to be in that joy vibration. So whatever it is <laughs> that brings you to that joy, anything that you know calls to you that will will open up that inner child in you, allow yourself to do it because it's it's so needed, that vibration of joy, it's not just an emotion, it's a very, very high vibration of of love that's 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 so needed on the planet right now. And as you find yourself or bring yourself into that frequency of joy, it helps to anchor that frequency right onto the planet. And so it is really one thing that we can do to assist in this whole transition and bringing in a new golden age on this earth. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this, I always appreciate your likes, your subscribes, your comments. Would love to hear your thoughts on some of these images. And remember, you were born to be free.